dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a very odd week for you. We're only doing the one episode because my good buddy is leaving for 10 days on a business trip and I'm yeah. going to miss him. Uh, so we're only doing the fourth week of Villains Month, DC's Villains Month. Very excited. Sorry. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hey everybody, today is the 30th and we're taking a look at the final week of DC's Villains Month. That's right, and if you've been with us for the past three other weeks, uh, we've just gone through them all, talked about the covers, talked about the stories. They're all about the the, uh, the villains. It's been it's been a fun ride, ups and downs, been great. Uh, so we're looking at the final 12. Sorry, go ahead. Again, green screen fails. Yes. Sorry, unavoidable. Yes, it's going to happen. So we're looking at the final 12. Last week we got 14, now we have 12. Yep. Uh, and this rounds I was up. hoping they'd do like a special, like, aha, 53. But no, no, we fooled no, you, but no, no. For they some did. reason, they just that's weird that they released one yeah. more that month. Anyway, whatever. Uh, and I will say that this week, in my opinion, they've all been very decent. You know, last week I said that they were kind of even. Uh, this week I'm saying that they're very decent. I have there's, there's a lot of them that I liked, I really enjoyed. That really and, sounds like you're saying the same thing. Oh, last okay. time they were all decent. This time they're all even. Right, right. So there's this, last time they were all decent, right down here. This time they're all very decent, right up here. You know, so they're all kind I'm of. I'm not sure open. I would agree with that, but okay. anyway, we'll keep it. So, uh, so yeah, the first one here is Ocean Master. Uh, awesome cover. I love that cover. That yeah. cover is so cool looking. Yeah. Uh, and this story is interesting. I did dig it only because he's that kind of. I'm a villain, but I'm also kind of a hero, sort of. Pr yeah. Probably not. Let's just go through them because okay. that's what we usually do. Uh, so Sinestro is next. That one was good. Great cover. Again, all of these are great cover this week. That one's kind of fuzzy to me. Anyway, we'll get yeah. to that. Uh, so what is this one? Secret Society. This one I think I really liked. A lot. Okay, well, we'll get to them. Uh, Parasite, Parasite, another one that I really enjoyed. Surprising one for me. Yeah. Uh, who is this one? This Black is Adam. Black Adam. Thank you. Black Adam was good. And Killer Croc. Another awesome cover. Love the That's cover great. there. Sorry for really the green great. screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're not going to be able to see Killer Croc. Uh, was this Firstborn? Is yes. That yeah, Firstborn. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Joker's Daughter. Which apparently is a hot property right now. Well, yeah, suddenly everyone's talking about Joker's Daughter, and I don't know why. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys, well, yeah, I guess I'll get into Joker's Joker. Daughter later. Uh, so then we have... Doomsday. Doomsday, Doomsday, and I think it looks so cool with the horns and shit and yeah, stuff. I kind of like the traditional, but... Bane, I dig this cover, I just kind of, the mask feels, like, just out of place, because it's all black and on the white, it just and feels off. when Nick saw this one, the first one, he went... Ooh, Man Bat. Ooh, Man Bat. Yeah, I was, I was kind of excited to read that. <laughs> also this, a great cover. Yes, really cool cover. Uh, the covers this week are so cool. And then, and then Metallo. Metallo. Or Which I don't know why we're, we shouldn't be ending with that one. Anyway. Whatever. Okay, so Ocean Master. You were saying that you were surprised. And I, like, yeah, I, I don't know much about Ocean Master. I was never a huge Aquaman fan. You know, I, I dug um, the Black Mana one. And this one surprised me because, you know, it, it had a story. It wasn't, it wasn't a very long story it was just kind of he's escaping and what is he going to do now type thing and it was cool to me i dug it you know i mean you know this one had such an opportunity and it i don't think it capitalized on just this little thing that bothered me and i can't spoil it really but the character acts this certain way and you're like boy that guy's such a mega douche you know like whatever he's right so detached from humanity and then at the end it's like Doo -doo -doo. And I don't know. I, I dug that. The but last... if they hadn't done that, it would have been like, okay, well, that sucks, you know? Yeah, yeah. Completely disassociated. But, but that last line, that last, when he comes out of the, you know, and yeah. then it, 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 it so made cool. It did make me go, yeah, and then I was like, oh, what the, oh. You to know? me, to me, I went, yeah, and then I stuck with the, yeah. Plus, I he's a villain. I didn't so... say, well, he's, he's, see, what I love is that they do the villains, and then they're also maybe a hero. Yeah. You know, there's a limit. There's a line that they will not it's, cross. The problem I have is that so many of these are that. We've been saying that the whole month. Yeah. Like, this guy, he would be a hero, but they apparently don't have a conversation. Well, know? I don't know. Uh, 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 like, Mr. Relic. Mr. And... Mr. Freeze was just a dick. You well, know? yeah, sure. I'm not saying all of them. I just said a bunch of them. A yeah, bunch of yeah. them are trying to be good. And but you have, well, you have to give them that little bit of humanity so we can relate to them. I dug that one. I thought that one was good. Yeah, so okay. next up is Sinestro. This one was interesting in that you don't actually... It's not in his point of view. It's in someone who's followed his recordings view. So she's an a... acolyte. Yeah, she's an acolyte. She's, she's a yellow lantern. Uh, it was interesting. I dug this story. I like. I dug the backstory. I did not like this one at all. Really? I don't like the cover either because this is really blurry. This this whole claw thing. It's it's. I can never get it quite in focus. It's all. Yeah. It's always it's, like it's double. It's true. Image. It would have been so much cooler if it was solid, but. 
And to I me, just, I I, yeah, I didn't like it. I, I'm not a huge fan of, of uh, Sinestro, mostly because he's like, how, how threatening is a guy who's all purple and he was wearing yellow? It's well, I mean, I guess it was interesting in that it really makes him, you know, an understandable human story. But again, it's the whole he should be a hero maybe thing. Yeah, but and he just takes it a little spoiler, too far. Spoiler, sorry. Yeah, uh, but... I, I, I thought it was okay. Again, yeah. in my opinion, these are all very decent, so you're going to hear me say that a lot. Uh, so next up is Secret Society. I was very surprised with this one. I really dug it. And it was just cool to me to see that alternate. Well, I'm not going to get too much. It's weird. It. It's weird because I don't think there's a lot of substance here. Really? No. I Dude. mean, I, I, I guess I like I like the take and like, oh, that, you know, Owl Man is this person. You know, yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. But And, yeah. So I, I guess, what can we give away? Yeah, we one? can't. This one, this one you need to read if you're interested in Forever Evil. Yes. And um, we should just leave it at that because it, it does have enough spoilers. We can't really talk about it without spoilers. So it is interesting. I just thought they had more of an opportunity that they didn't necessarily I think, have. I think, they, I think they did very well with this. And, and the loved... cover is probably the, the most boring of this batch to me. I mean, I like the reptile dude. He's yeah. got some depth. But, yeah. I mean, but saying Actually, that. all of these characters you don't see. They're not in the book. Um, not one of them. Yeah, you see him in the background. Oh, you do? Yeah, the the, the, the cyborg. Kind cyborg of guy. guy, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, um, again, yeah, all these covers are awesome. Yeah, really this cool. batch is awesome. Last batch we had like Dial E, that was kind of like me. Yeah, these yeah. are all awesome. Uh, Parasite. I was very surprised about this one. I yeah, really dug this one. This is fun. Uh, the punk vibe that was in there, I just totally got. It. I was like, hey, yeah, this this is doing it for me. I was very surprised. Big pink dude with yeah, these yeah. crazy symbols in the background, whatever. No, yeah, it was fun. I, it was good. <laughs> it was really cool. I liked it. And, and again, cover, for like. yeah, for a big dude, you know, you'd think it'd be a lot of one dimensional because he's so huge, but they did a really good job of staggering him. Yeah, yeah. Some great, yeah, 3D. I love that. I love these covers. They're really fun. But yeah, that was a great book. Uh, so Black Adam, this one, <laughs> this one was, this one I liked. I did. Um, but it wasn't as great as the other ones. And you apparently don't like it, huh? Don't like it. Wow. Didn't like it. No, I think it's too uh, on the nose with uh -huh. the whole. I don't know. I think this batch does cults a lot. And, uh, you know, this batch of comics does cults. And this one was okay because... It's like friggin' Muhammad. You know, it makes him Muhammad. That, that's all, It's just like... Yeah, yeah. It's too on the nose for me. Okay. Well, I, I dug it. It was okay. Uh, I like the resistant movement, the resistance movement that was happening in there. And then how it all came about. And then the ending, he's like, well, whatever. I'm not going to tell you. But it was, I thought it was okay. I dig. I dug it. Yeah, you seem to be really positive in this batch, but this one, I think we both agree, this is yes. the best one. I so think. damn it's awesome. cool. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, uh, if you don't know anything about Killer Croc, this explains it all. Plus, it gives you uh, his mentality, his his just everything about him. Well, the really cover cool. is like yeah, awesome. and that cover is so cool. It's just all cool. Yeah, yeah this is going to be like my you know right in the center. I yeah. think if I make my big wall, it'll be right in the center. Yeah. So yeah, all together, great backstory kind of stuff, and uh, just a great attitude, and it makes him stand apart. Agreed. So, awesome. Totally. Uh, so next one is Firstborn. This one I was, I, I was another one I would rather you know I don't know lick paint or I don't know. I was honestly I was really I on the it. fence on whether or not I like this one or not. But the, when I gave it a little more thought, out of all of these, this one is it's this one just feels more unique than anything else that I've read. You know, just because you have this one because character. Because it's exactly Greek mythology. You know, it's like. Well, no. Be, well, kind of. It's kind of got that blend. It's not unique. Of, it's, it's kind of got that blend though. You know, you have this kind of modern day character and he's got these modern day it's a slightly nasty says, hercules that's all it is it's kind of kind of it, I mean, it's not hercules though it's, i it's, know but it, he's saying he's this big brooding guy who's like half zeus and it, whatever I, I i thought it was interesting the viewpoint that they started and i i like this one because again it was in a different it felt different than all the other comics and i think because it, it had a loincloth that's why he likes it he wasn't wearing a loincloth it was a dragon skin yeah whatever whatever yeah I, I just i couldn't get into it, it was although there was uh, some bestiality innuendos in there yeah there were and uh you know that kind of happens in greek mythology though so yes it's true and, but the cover is okay you know it's cool yeah if you don't know much about the character this is interesting yeah i like the depth in it and his, yeah. his horny things are kind of cool but yeah whatever. I, yeah all together i didn't this is probably my least favorite yeah i thought it was interesting don't it care. had its merits and then we have uh joker's daughter uh, there was a lot of, right before this came out, right before the New 52, they started picking up steam and suddenly everyone's talking about Joker's daughter. And if you don't know, before New 52, she was a character who was mostly known in the Teen Titan universe and she was going around pretending to be not just Joker's daughter, but everyone's daughter. So she was the Riddler's daughter, she was Two-Face's daughter. In fact, she goes by the name Duella Dent. Um, and then she was, uh, uh, who else's daughter? Riddler, did I say Riddler? Yeah, so she was a bunch of people's daughter. And no one really know, knew who she was. And, this one, and you still won't after this, really. This one doesn't really explain that, but there is an interesting story following her 
claim to some power, I guess. You know, yeah, I mean, it, it was interesting enough. Yeah, I, yeah. And kind of some creepiness, you know, with the whole face discovery thing. Right, whatever. although it was a little convenient. How did that, whatever. Yeah, well, no, we know how. Oh, maybe you didn't read the, yeah, you oh. read the last of the, whatever. We can't, let's not spoil it. Okay. But it does make sense. Okay, uh, anyway. I missed it. So, yeah, so uh, the cover's okay. It's, it's kind of creepy because you can see her eyes behind the mask, you know? Yeah. And so that's interesting. That's um, cool. I want to know more about the character. I don't, you know, it doesn't really do that to right. give you. I mean, it gives you a little bit of the backstory, kind of a twist or whatever, but we don't know exactly why she's got that point of view, you know, whatever. Right. Unfortunately, with the reboot of the New 52, all the crap that happened in the previous, all the backstory that you already know about, may get thrown out the window, but we don't know. So yeah. it does have a bit of a, a, a origin story in this, so that is a plus. And when I picked it up at the comic book store, uh, she said... Hang on to that, because they're already trying to charge, you know, 100 bucks on eBay. Well, not 100 bucks, but they are going for, like, 40 You know, yeah. people are trying to charge them. So that's true for a lot of these, but especially this one, for some reason, people really dig it. Um, yeah. It, it's it's a solid book. Yeah, agreed. Okay. Uh, so next up is Doomsday. And again, I love I love this look in here. And I really, dug, great cover. I really dug this story, because it happens on Krypton. It's kind of got, like, this weird backstory. But it's like, a ta it's like one of those um, reoccurring tales, like, so... Uh, uh, kind of like Battlestar Galactica, I just watched, like, rewatched all of those, and I was like, oh, that kind of reminded me of that, where it's something happens in the past, and now it's going to be imitated in the future, but we're focusing on what's happening here. And I love I love the way the costumes look and the backstory. I, I, I enjoyed it. it enough. The thing I don't like is that's misleading. It uh, really has so little to do with Doomsday. Y yeah. It really does. Yeah. Although it did leave you with a question, which I'm not going to talk about until we turn the cameras off, because it kind of gives away, but there was this question of, is... Are these two people the same? I'm just coming from... No, I don't I don't think so at all. I'm coming from uh, a... I love the death of Superman. I love seeing Doomsday, you know, uh, hand Superman his ass. It was awesome. Right. Um, and so I was, like, really looking forward to getting more of that or more of, like, how did he get put in those shackles or something. I don't know, but we got none of that. Yeah. But it was interesting. But it's, it, yeah, it, it's like a Superman book. It's not... It shouldn't be called Doomsday. That's all I'm saying. Like, not really. I mean, there is enough, I guess. I don't He's know. there. He, he, not really. You see him once. Yeah. Well, kind of. <laughs> you, you get more, I guess, a little bit more of, like, lower surrounding that sort of right. thing. And but I it think, really doesn't tie directly to him. I think I like the fact that they didn't talk directly about him. They talked about the lore. I, I just like Doomsday so much, I really yeah. wish they had done more. So anyway, I enjoyed it. It'd be great if there was a Doomsday book, but I doubt it. Anyway, yeah. Still cool. All right, so now we have uh, uh, Bane. And, uh, th again, the cover kind of throws me off because the face just seems misplaced, but I really did... I disagree. I love this cover. Yeah. Well, I don't love it, but it's it's pretty solid. I think, it, I think it, it would be solid to me. It's just because the face is still the way it is, it just seems superimposed to me. Just Dude, like... there's more that, like, like uh, Dark Side was more than this, like, worse than this. Anyway, yeah, it's whatever. true. Whatever. It's, fine. it's, fine. it's fine. It... <laughs> what I do. Just la 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 or just keep talking. Yeah, look. Sorry. The story, the story is actually pretty cool. I like the story yeah, because it, it has... It's all about Bane's following and his... Uh, uh, need for power and more of his backstory, or not backstory, but more of his characters given away. Yeah, and this is going to be followed up in Forever Evil, Forever Evil Arkham War. Right. So I'm really looking forward to that because I know you said that you didn't care for the Scarecrow one where he's like talking to different villains. Um, they they talk about Bane and how you know the shit's going to hit the fan when Bane gets there. Yeah. That's what I'm interested in because yeah, I love agreed. the Batman villains, so I'm really totally interested in that. So. Uh, yeah, I want to see his war on the and fact, Croc, yeah. and I mean they're all going to be part of that, so I'm I'm totally into that. So yay, war war for Arkham is going to be awesome. So, but yeah, it's a, it's a good book. I mean, it definitely kind of I don't know if it. I mean, like reading Nightfall, you get a feel of who he is, but it, he's definitely been more mercenaried since the movie. Yes. So they kind of are following in that vein, which I don't really have a problem with. No. So that's fine. But he definitely takes it. And, yeah, like you like you said with the uh, uh, Arkham, uh, War on Arkham, it's going to be so Arkham much War. interesting because if you got, yeah, War, Arkham War, whatever. Arkham, Arkham War, War, I think. Okay, so it's going to be very interesting because you're going to have, uh, right now Gotham is split up between the, the big superpowers, and then underneath you have uh, Killer Croc and his army, and then you have Bane coming in with his army. It's just going to be crazy. Yeah, it's it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so cool. Okay, so now then, you have Man Bat. Ooh! Yes, I did go man with Man Bat because no. I wasn't expecting. Ooh! ooh man Bat. I wasn't expecting. Man Bat. Sorry, it's, I wasn't, it's in my head. I, I wasn't expecting there to be a Ma Man Bat co uh, uh, comic, and I dug this one. I thought it was cool. I mean, I honestly think it's kind of garbage. I really, really? Do. yeah, unfortunately. Because what I liked about it is, there's two characters. There's Man Bat, and then there's another character who I can't talk about. And that character, 
is kind of hooked on something, and then he's like, well, I'm not going to do that, and then he kind of does. That's I've never think, done that. I, it's a very Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing. And sort of. I, I, I will say that in this book, the redeeming thing for me is the whole... What are you talking about? I'm the hero. Yes. I, I enjoy that. Yes, that was cool. So, anyway. I dug it. I think I think it's worth and checking the, out. And the cover's definitely cool. Yes. And, like, the bats in the foreground and stuff. It's really cool. Yeah. It, it's not showing up too well on screen, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Some of these depths are just great. It's like, eh, eh. You don't feel like you can stick your finger right in there. Uh, That's what she said. And then finally... <laughs> Metallo. And then finally we have Metallo. I dug this one. I thought this one was good. Mostly because at one point you have two things fighting against each other. I kind of hate that we're stopping with this one. I mean, it was better than I thought it would be. I just still didn't like it. And I actually, like it. I guess, when I say that I like all covers, it does include this one because the kryptonite is like in the foreground, so it's got great depth. Yeah. Otherwise, it's super boring to me. I don't. Because it's like his stupid metal hands. And, just... and yeah, you're not going to be able to see that because of the green screen, but I think it's cool. I think it's really awesome. Uh, it's an okay enough. They, they changed up his lore a bit. Uh, but the way that they started, he's walking in this kind of dark area. You don't really know what's happening, but he's just walking and he's just going to soldier on. Uh, and as the story progressed, because you have a lot of flashbacks, things get revealed. And when it was revealed where he was, I was like, oh, that's interesting. That, that was cool. Yeah, I did like that. But this is yet another one where it's like, I'm a hero, you know? Yeah. That, well, that's the, it's yeah. Like more than half of the, at least half of them. See, the, the, the difference with this one is, hero. is is he was a hero, but then he kind of resigned to the fact that he's not really a hero I'm anymore. Not, and I'm not totally bashing that. I, I do think that's cool. It's just that it seems to be not very nuanced from case to case. Right. It's literally the same thing where they're doing nasty things to get the job done, and they think they're a hero, where everybody else is like, oh, you can't do that. you know. Right, and right. so it's just the same thing over and over. But I love the idea of... I think I'm a hero, but I'm not because I kill people. You know, just like the opposite of Batman, you know, kind of thing. Or not opposite, but, you know. Um, so, I, I, yeah, it's just, I wish there was more difference between these cases. It's like, well, this one's a robot. Well, this one's in space. But they have the same thing going I, on. Yeah, I guess. But uh, but it was fun. I, you know. I dug it. I, again, these these all of these I just had fun with. It's definitely a little more, like, typical, like, rogue soldier right. super experiment thing. This this is, the, I said it last week, but I think this one's even more so. This week was more the, the even lot. You know, you just got a whole lot of even books. Consistently good. And there were only a couple origins, though. I still wish there were more origins because it... When you're doing a one-off, that really begs the origin thing. And then yeah. the one that tied to Forever Evil, I can forgive. But some of these other ones, it's just kind of like a small day in the life, which is like, I don't really care about the character be to begin with, so I don't... Uh, like the Man Bat one. Yeah. I don't... I, we didn't... You know, we're we're made to fill in the blanks from the beginning, and then... I, 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 there's well, I mean, just, there's, it's so little to be compelled by. There wasn't much origin to it. He drinks a syrup and he becomes a bat. Yeah, That's spoiler, kind of jerk, jeez. Oh, because you didn't know? It's, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. So, uh, overall, these have been great. Yes. And I, again, we really hope they do the heroes. Please, really want, please, yeah, please, please do the heroes. Please. Yeah. Because I figured it out. I think that if I got two 4 by 8 sheets of plexiglass, there'd be enough room <laughs> he to... He did the math. Yeah, to totally put them all together, 152 on one side, you know, uh, three rows of 13. And then, you know, so I'd have to just do two of those. One Heroes and one All Villains. It would be so great. Please do that. Please, yes, please, 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 please. please, please. So, Thank anyway. you. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, I, I highly recommend them. I will ask you this, Errol. Uh, what do you think about recommending these books if you can't get the covers, though? Because a lot of the covers are gone. Yes. There's, there's no more. Yes, if you them. haven't gotten the covers. I, I think there are some that are very worth it. Can you think of them off the bat? Off the bat? Ha, ha, ha. Man bat. Well, uh, I, actually, yeah, off, off the top of my head, it's a little difficult. Uh, definitely, um, I, I'm definitely seeing Cyber Superman. I think that one was really good. See, I honestly would say the Court of Owls because that oh, adds context no. to the whole event. No. It, yeah, I it, like that one. It's a snippet, and it's a very small these snippet. These are all snippets, very small these, snippets. These are kind of chunky snippets. So I guess that's kind of, you know, proof in the pudding that we can't necessarily recollect the ones that we'd recommend. So it's just, it's the gimmick, it's the 3D thing, but yeah. it's still totally worth it if you can get a hold of them. Uh, so anyway, yeah, please do more in the future. Yes, please. All right, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art print, shorts, stars, and more. And if, on, if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. We're also both blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, leasing updates to the world I've created for 10-plus years. Uh, take a look. If you like it, share it. Support me that way. 
And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, uh, where I have short stories and poetry. So if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Oh. I threw you off, and I got it. Yeah, I'm taking it. It's mine. Yeah, you did. Oh, man. See you in a couple weeks. I was like, what? Wait, what happened? We'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. It's NB, that's my name. Dude, you're wearing my name. NB, Nick Bach. He wears that shirt a lot, which is why it's, it's kind of all... Confused. Yeah, but it, it did this weird wear pattern. So it, it was like folded or something, but yeah, it looks kind of like an N. It totally does. It's Nick Bach. No. Oh my... I'm going to have you and Blaze on my chest. No offense. Just... The property of Nick. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally what it is. That's awesome. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Yes, I will miss things too. <laughs> Don't know if you guys noticed, but I usually wear my hair this way. And I was actually gonna shave it off, but I decided to start combing it back just to see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks good. Good, glad. It's gonna be a pain in the ass with green screen, but... Oh. You never consider that. No, I never do. Hey everybody, today is the 30th and we're taking a look at the final week of vi 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 How many issues are there? There's 13? 12? There's 12, 12 this time. 12. And uh, next up we're going to be talking about Deadpool uh, on the new 52 3D covers. <laughs> I wish. That made no sense. I, yeah, I totally hope this is one of those instances that Marvel waits a couple years and then totally rips them off, because I would love that. <laughs> Can you imagine Marvel villains? Ah, oh, dude. And Magneto with shit. Yeah, I was just yeah. thinking that. That'd be so awesome. Of course, they'd have like Galactus. I think, well, Galactus would be huge. I think it should just be like one hand. Yeah, like his eye. Yeah, yeah. Eye and a couple fingers. Good on you, DC. Thank you. Yep. Mwah, mwah.